ready for your headliner? Yeah! Cool. Last scene on Comedy Central's had a couple of specials on there on VH1's Best Week Ever on NBC. Please welcome the stage, Mr. Doug Benson. I'm Sarah Christman and this is The Christman Show. I am here at the Angelica in Dallas with Doug Benson. Hey. Hi, Doug. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for coming on my show. Thank you for having it in this theater right before a matinee I'm going to watch is about to begin. I'm very excited about this matinee. <laughs> <laughs> Our very own private matinee. <laughs> yeah. I thought there'd be a bigger turnout for uh, Precious based on the story pushed by Sapphire. <laughs> It's, yeah, I really didn't see that one coming. I figured it would be a better turnout than this. Maybe the title's too long and people just can't get through it when Maybe. they buy a ticket. Yeah, exactly, and they don't really know what it's about. Even no, yeah, it doesn't. That doesn't tell you anything. You think with such a long title, there would be more information? If you well, if you read Push by, wait, is that what it's called? Push. Push. Precious, which is Precious based on the book. Precious is based on the book. Is it based on the book Push? I know nothing of this. <laughs> Nothing of it? None of it. You haven't heard about Precious? No, you have to tell me about it. See, I don't know anything oh, about right. movies. I don't ever get to go to movies, and you get to go to movies all of the time. It's the movie where Mariah Carey acts in it, but she, you know, is uh, schleppy, schlubby. She's not uh, fancy Mariah Carey. She's like, you know, like Charlize no makeup. Or, and no makeup. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally like Charlize monster. monster style, but she doesn't uh, kill anybody. I think she plays like a uh, counselor at a school where this one gi gigantic black girl that gets no respect from anybody, and her name is Precious. You're quite active on, <laughs> on the Twitter. I love the Twitter. The Twitter is, is a good thing. I, I love the Twitter myself. It's, yeah, it's pretty cool. It is. How long have you been on the Twitter now? I don't know. <laughs> that sounds like a... <laughs> I know, really. Let's like, talk about this. Like, a, like I got a drug problem. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to Twitter's get off the Twitter. <laughs> it, it is a little bit of a problem. I do, uh, people say I tweet too much. Uh, I don't know when I started. Like, how old is Twitter? It's only about a year or two old, right? Um, two years, maybe? It's, it's about two years old. I think it took a long yeah. time to really kick in. Yeah, I and I probably yeah. jumped in right when it really kicked in, which is probably at the beginning of this year, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's probably February, January, February, somewhere in there, I, I started doing it. And of course I resisted it initially. I was like, oh, just another thing that like, but I like it so much more than Facebook or MySpace mm -hmm. because of the, the fact that it's all about reading and writing as opposed to, you know, you can put pictures on there and stuff and, and uh, I guess you could tell people what mood you're in or whatever, but <laughs> like, I don't like all those little extra things that they have on, on those other sites. I was in Los Angeles earlier this year and I got to see the Benson Interruption and that was a really good night. Dax Shepard was up and he had just started doing stand-up not too long ago and you, yeah. were, you were quite kind. The whole the premise behind Benson Interruption is your comic friends come in mm -hmm. and you essentially heckle them. And well, make the show, it, I, add dimension to the show. I try to add more comedy to yes. their performance, but sometimes <laughs> it could be construed as heckling or interrupting. Welcome to the Benson Interruption, everybody. Uh, so, but I also have not had a drink in over a month, and that is oh. fucking. You don't have to tell me; it's the worst. <laughs> Somebody in the audience, when you said that you stopped drinking, actually said, "Oh, he loves to drink." <laughs> she was really concerned that you were going see, through this. See, that's, it's true. And I, I want you to understand that is a fucking sacrifice. Like, that is what I'm giving up. Because the smoking, it's not a sacrifice. Because I've never said, 
oh, I used to have so many awesome times with my friends smoking. <laughs> remember that party I, where we yeah. had cigarettes? Oh, hey, remember that time? Oh, oh we had too many cigarettes oh, that night. Oh, boy, I smoked I can't so remember much. what happened. Uh, in addition to the Benson interruption that I do every month, I've got a podcast that I do once every two or three weeks. I love movies. <laughs> you do? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I love them, too. I, and, I don't watch uh, movies. I just listen to your podcast. I don't have to Well, to yeah, it. you don't really have to go if you, you listen to the to podcast, because yeah. I ruin the plots uh, many a time. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I, I, you know, I'm starting to enjoy talking about movies more than actually watching them, because mm -hmm. uh, the <laughs> show is so much fun to do. And... Um, you have a lot of your friends come on that show as well. Yeah, yeah. It's the uh, same thing as The Interruption. It's just all uh, actors and comedians. And I'm starting to branch into people that I'm not as friendly with, or you know, because like I'm getting f friends of friends to come on and mm -hmm. stuff. Like I got two of the guys from Reno 911 on recently, Tom Lennon and Robert Ben Garant. Nice. And I had never met uh, Ben, is what he goes by. I had never met him prior to that, and I had only seen Thomas Lennon like socially a few times. Mm -hmm. So. So it was really cool having those guys on. And then the last one that I did, I got, and I just was basically meeting him that night, uh, the director of Zombieland, Ruben Fleischer, came nice. on. And that was, I was so excited about that because, you know, prior to that point, I just thought I was a guy goofing around talking to comedians about movies. But then I finally got a real director with a real hit that's out right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it was fun to, you know, we had a, fun conversation, but also it was a little bit more about actually making movies rather than just judging. Yeah. Yeah. I saw that movie um, Super Size Me when I was high. Mistake! That is <laughs> fucked up, you know? Because the premise of that movie is that it's bad to eat a lot of McDonald's, and I'm sitting there all high, like, thinking, well, I could go for a hot apple or a, a Frenchie at this point. Hook me up, man. And uh, he's just gorging it all on himself and then throwing up. And oh, it's disgusting, that movie. If that's a movie, if, if eating, uh, eating McDonald's for 30 days is a movie and people are willing to pay to see it, I've got a movie. I'm going to smoke pot every day for 30 days, try to remember to film it. And my movie's going to be called Super High Me. Or business as usual, I haven't decided yet. So you did your documentary, Super High Me, a few years ago. It's, uh -huh. it's, it had to have been, because I, I know I've been watching it for a couple of years. Yeah, I, you know, I start to get confused about the chronology, but I think it was <laughs> filmed in the fall of uh, 2000 and, I want to say, six, And Ish, then it came yeah. out in the summer of 2007, and, uh, yeah, something like that. And it's been... Uh, Again, uh, much like people just joining Twitter, everywhere I go, people came up, come up to me and go, I was just watching Super High Me today. <laughs> you know, like I catch people at just the, at just the right moment. Like last night I went to the seafood place here in this mall and uh, one of the waiters came over and was just like, I've, I've been telling people, like just this very afternoon I was telling some other people how much I liked S Super High Me and then you walked in. And he had no idea I was playing at uh, Hyenas, so it was just like, Wow, that's <laughs> weird that he just walked in here. Yeah, and so um, you've also been co-hosting on Attack of the Show on G4. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of fun. I'll yes. fill in and stand next to Kevin or Olivia or uh, Chris Hardwick, and uh, that's that's a blast. I love I, I love G4. They play, of course, they play Super High Me, mm -hmm. uh, probably as we speak. If you turn on G4, you can catch Super High Me if you haven't seen it yet, and. Uh, and then they did a, a, a special with me and my buddy Graham Elwood where we went out uh, on a, a little tour and we filmed it just to show, mm -hmm. you know, what life is like for me post Super High Me. And uh, it's called The High Road. And it debuts on G4 on uh, Monday, December 28th. Excellent. So between Christmas and New Year's, it'll probably be like one of the only original programs. It's not a rerun on, on TV. So... Uh, Hopefully, lots of people will watch it. Good. We'll tell and them to like watch it. it. Yeah. yeah, tell them. Tell them. Tell them to watch, watch it. Watch it. December 28th. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Sarah Christman, and this has been Doug Benson. It has been. It has been. I'm done. <laughs> I'm finished. The movie's over now. This is my last thing I'm ever going to do. Yeah. It's going to disappear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about that. <laughs> so, you can follow Doug on Twitter. He's at Doug Benson. 
or you can follow me and I'll just tell you to follow him. Thank you so much for tuning in. This has been The Christman Show. Christman Show, Christman Show, it's time for the Sarah Christman Show. Gas up the minivan, here we go, it's time for the Sarah Christman Show.